Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we were finished with the Alola Arcade, and we're ready to move on with the plot. Uh, as a quick little thing that I should mention, by the way, I decided to go back in there and do some grinding, sort of. First off, I had to go back in there anyway, because I ended the last stream without saving. But I also wanted to get some extra equipment since I had the opportunity, and so I bought some extra equipment with my prize money. Unfortunately, I kind of goofed. I was supposed to buy some extra snap bracelets, but instead I wound up buying extra stupid masks. So um, now I've got these, and um, I don't actually get anybody to use them and that sort of thing. Uh, that, that's what I get for kind of cheesing and grinding, I guess. Ah, whatever. By the way, I also found out something interesting. In the arcade, the boat character and the robot character apparently have their own stats. Maddie Ratata says, Alola, been playing Pokemon recently at all by chance? No, I keep saying Alola for some reason. It's actually, yes, Aloha. And I'm moving around on screen despite having this stat stuff on my screen, so you can't actually see me moving very well. But yeah, they each had their own stats, which was kind of interesting. Robotraz actually has a sniper rifle equipped. No, I cannot unequip it. I already tried. Anyway, yeah, so that is the situation with that. Let's go ahead and start kind of moving on with the story now, shall we? We got a little bit of exploration to do with the town first, but trust me, we'll be getting to the story today. Let's start by going way over here. Before the stream, I figured out where I need to go in order to progress the story, so I'm going to go everywhere except where we need to go. Home sweet home. As far as I'm aware, there's nothing necessarily interactive as far as I know. Oh, that is. Oh, I can call stuff. Let's call Chris. Hello? Hey man. Hey Dave, what's up? I don't know why I called actually, but hey. Um, okay. Hey. Okay, bye. See ya. Well, that was fun. What else? Hello? Hi, is Kathy around? No, Kathy not home yet. Who is this? Is this a boy? Kathy not allowed to talk to boys. I, uh, gotta go. How about a random number? Hello? Is your refrigerator running? Well, you better go and catch it! David, is that you? Oh, hey, Chris. <laughs> Hi. What was that all about? Oh, I was trying to make a prank call, but I guess I dialed your number by mistake. Um, okay. Happy prank calling. Well, that was awkward. Let's just move on now. I don't think anything... No, nothing up here is interactive. And I do not know what is the deal with this corner over here. We can't do anything with it. So, that's basically it for his house. Let's go to somebody else's house. Let's try this house. Okay, I'm done. Mom, when's dinner gonna be ready? Hold on just a minute. You... you so impatient. Make your food tough work. I'd like to... I'd like to see you try. Silly boy. That was hard to read. Hey man, here for some kimchi? Nah, I don't know why I came over actually. But hey. Uh, okay. Hey. 
Dave is a master of conversation. Anything here? Found a hammer. I don't necessarily know why I want a hammer, but sure. Is it something I could equip? It is. Oh, it's actually pretty decent, too. What we got in this place? Can you go upstairs and check on Nihal? I think he's upset about something. He won't come down for dinner and claims he's not hungry. Nihal, not hungry? Uh-oh, something must be up. That boy's an idiot. I know he's my son, but he's an idiot. Seems like a great dad. Anything in these? What's this? Pictures. Sniffle, sniffle. She didn't write back. What? Who didn't write back? Sniffle, sniffle. Britney Spears. Britney Spears! Sniffle, sniffle. I sent her a birthday card with a poem I wrote for her and just a little. I hinted that my birthday was coming up soon and sniffle sniffle. She didn't send anything to me on my birthday. Oh come on, Nihal. Do you really expect Britney Spears to send you a birthday card? Sniffle sniffle. I didn't expect, but there's always hope, you know? No, Nihal, you're pretty much hopeless. Well, that answers that, I guess. Ask him to help out, don't bother. I'm curious. Let's ask him to help out. Hey, Na Nihao, would you rather sit here and sulk all day, or help me make a movie starring you? Sniffle, sniffle. What part would I play? You'd play a girl who gets her brains eaten. Sniffle, sniffle. Go away. Maddie Radita says, oh wow, okay, Britney Spears being relevant. Okay, I feel old now. Yeah, between that and the whole coup thing, this game is like a time capsule of sorts. Did you find out what's wrong? He's upset that Britney Spears isn't in love with him. Well, that isn't right. In a perfect world, Britney Spears would fall madly in love with my son. And how about you? Nope, nothing new. Alright, what about the house down here? They got dogs. Who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? If anybody watching this doesn't feel old yet, then that was before their time. Hey Dave, what brings you here? Hey man, I'm just kind of bummed. No one likes my movie script, and the film is due in two days, and I got no ideas. Aw, oh, sorry man. Hey, I know what would cheer you up. Let's go to the arcade. I heard they just got some new games in. I also heard Tiffany got a job there. Yeah, that's a good reason not to go. No, come on. It'll be fun. Get your mind off work. What do you say? Uh, we, we already went. I need to work on my movie. Nope. You need to have some fun, man. We're going. Fine. I don't get a choice? Okay, if I knew we were going to be forced to go to the arcade, I would have been for uh, forced to go to the arcade before I actually went to the arcade. Hey, I'll give you 10 bucks if you go talk to Tiffany. 
Ten bucks? What's the catch? You have to hold a conversation with her for two whole minutes. Whoa, whoa, you mean I'd have to listen to her blab for two minutes? I don't know, I might not make it. Twenty bucks then? Let's make it a bet. I bet you twenty bucks that you can't hold a conversation with Tiffany for two minutes. You know what? Why not? Let's take it on. Oh, alright. For 20 bucks, you're on. Dope. My gosh, this game. Remember, two whole minutes. Got it. Hi, David! Hehe. <laughs> What's up? Hehe. <laughs> Oh, we get to do this sort of thing. Uh, hi. So, hey, nice, um, hair. Oh my gosh, really? You think so? Hehe. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, okay, today I use this new shampoo and, like, I totally love it. Oh my gosh, and you know this. Hehe. <laughs> like, okay, like, even my best friend Cindy, who's not really my best friend anymore, but anyway, like, I saw her today and she was all, hi, Tiffany, and I was all, hi, notice anything different? And she was all, no, and I'm like, oh my gosh, she didn't even, like, mention my hair. And you, like, noticed, and that's, like, so cool, hehe. <laughs> that was two minutes, right? Nope. Dang. I can't take it any longer. Money, please? Yeah, here. Well, there's 20 bucks down the drain. Pleasure doing business with ya. Yep, I'm the king of bets. That you are. Alright. For real this time, we're done with this place. Let's see what else was in that house that we were just at. Found a baseball bat. Cool. Can I equip that? When did I get a penny and a nickel? Whatever, they don't do anything. Yes, I can in fact equip the baseball bat. Which means I'm dual wielding a hammer and a baseball bat now. I am one dangerous person to deal with. Do you think I'm hot? No, no. <laughs> um. Sigh. I didn't think so. Okay. So there's actually stuff beyond the arcade. So let's check these out. Ah, David's mom. Hi, Davers. We're going to get one of these new TVs. 1,000 channels. Can you beat that? Anyway, I'll be home soon, as soon as we haggle the price down a bit. So, the salesman is named Jim. Sir, the retail price of the TV is $1,000. I'll give you $5. Sir, don't you think that's a bit low for... $40, and not a penny more. Sir, that's still too low considering $2,000. Sir, that's twice the retail price of the TV. $40. He... he doesn't know how to haggle. Can you even haggle in a place like that? Oh gosh, I didn't mean to actually repeat the entire conversation. Thankfully, I could get through it pretty quick. Hmm... Eric, what the heck are you doing? Oh, um, I don't know. Okay, Eric, you're cool. Let's ask him for help. Hmm... 
Hey Eric, could you help me with a film I'm working on? Um, I'm like busy. Busy doing what? Nothing. Okay then. We'll just go ahead and move on. What the heck? I'm gonna jump! There is nothing left to live for if Brittany doesn't love me. Nihal, get down from there. Stop acting stupid. No, I'm going to jump. I'm really going to jump. I... Ah! Crap. Ow. I... Ow. I think I have at least one bone that didn't break. Nope. There it went. Alright, well, um... Let's, uh... See how our friend is doing. Mmm, mmm. This is good kimchi. Wait. Here it comes. Ugh. Man, you're gonna kill me with your kimchi farce one of these days. Heh. <laughs> Alright, well. That's, uh, let's not move that. Oh, wait, did I check upstairs here before? No, I didn't. I want catnip. Electronic Gaming Monthly. Wow, it's an EGM, the most comprehensive video game magazine on the planet. That it is, David. Not only is EGM the most comprehensive video game magazine, it is also the most accurate source of gaming information known to man. Indeed, EGM is definitely the only choice for your video game needs. Up-to-date news, accurate reviews, comprehensive issues. Subscribe today! I feel dirty all of a sudden. Me too. Yeah, I can't imagine why this game won EGM's RPG Maker Contest. Ew, don't bug, uh, don't bug me. I'm on the phone. Jeez. Hello? Yeah, sorry. That was just my brother's dorky friend. I know, he's so icky. I am disappointed that I can't do anything in any beds. Alright, well, that at least just this. We got it! At $750, too! Can you beat that? Let's bring it in. I'd like to see you try that at Walmart. Well, isn't this just the neatest thing? That's a TV? I guess I can kind of see it. Mom, where's the remote? I can't use the TV without a remote. You could just go up to the TV and change the channel. No, that requires way too much effort. Well, let's see. It should be around here somewhere. You know... I think I might have left it at the hardware store. Ugh, I'll just go get it then. I see. So you'll walk all the way down to the store to get a remote controller, yet you won't walk two feet in front of you to change the channel manually? Mom... Okay, just be careful, that's all. I'll go and make dinner. So apparently that back way does lead somewhere, I just can't access it. Coolness. 
Alright, well, let's go back to the other place and grab it real quick, then. We cannot progress the plot without the, uh... Titular... item, I guess? Th this game's called Remote Control, and we're... That's a thing? What was that? You know what? Let's see if we can follow it. Hmm. Eric, did you happen to see a purple thing go by here a sec ago? No. Thanks, Eric. You are really helpful. Welcome. Odd, no one is here. There. I guess Mom dropped it here or something. Picked up a controller. And this is automatic. That, that is totally not foreboding. Later that day... We're going to go out now. Dinner is in the kitchen. See you later. Bye, Mom. Let's see what's on. Uh... Great. The remote doesn't work. Die, monster! Boring. It's open, Chris. Hey. Hey, man, check out the new gear. Cuckoo. Oh, sure, he can walk back there. That's my dinner, you know. Heh. <laughs> Xena, Warrior Princess will be back after these messages. This show sucks, man. I know, I know. So, like, change the channel. I would, but I can't get the remote to work. Hmm? Are the batteries dead or something? I don't know. Let me try again. See? Nothing. And now, back to our show, Xena, Warrior Princess. No! Quick! Change it before it's too late! I'm trying! It's not working! Xena, watch out behind you! That was close. Too close. Too close. Way too close. Change it for the love of her, huh? change it! I'm trying! Arrgh! I must do what I can for what I have done before I was reborn to what I am. It's burning my eyes! I can't watch! The horror! Stupid thing! Work, dang it, work! What the? Uh. What did you push? Just random buttons. What is going on? Um. Oh no, my chicken. That was smart. Well, I guess I should go too. <sighs> it 
And we finally, after four episodes, have reached the title screen. This seems like a perfect opportunity to go into our first episode break of today's stream. We will be right back. And when we come back, we're going to find out what mess David and Chris have gotten themselves into.